Good morning, everybody. I know you guys want to go outside, huh? Good morning. At all. Listen. What's she been doing, that little boy? Okay. Oh, it's the Peyton is going to fall off my shoulder. Peyton. There you go. for a minute, boy. Hello, everybody. How are you guys going to get past these big ones? It's going to be a disaster, huh? Okay, everybody, keep it moving. It's like hurting a bunch of toddlers almost sometimes. Getting them in at night can be tricky. I gotta clean up a bunch of stuff, I know. Let's see what do they decide to do. Anyways, I want to try to get some fencing and brush cutting done today so that I can actually herd them down the hill and let them check out that space. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Now I'm going to be setting up mushrooms over there at some point. I got to figure out when my family's coming to visit and I got to order some mushroom spawn because I thought that might be a fun activity to do together but I also thought it might be better if I have the mushrooms growing um, by the time they arrive so that we can fry them up in some butter and garlic together. So I don't know. I, I've got to consult with my, my daughter on that I suppose. It's just, it's already mayhem. I need to expand the coop, do all sorts of stuff, so we'll see. funny so the I'll probably be ready to take this table up soon because the baby ducks started off just in this area and now they're getting a little bit braver and they know how to steer clear of the bigger ducks and the geese a little bit better but they all just really love this overgrown space but we'll see how it goes because Some of them like plop in. Sometimes they actually will like jump a little bit. Um, and then some of them just kind of slip into the water nice and calm like. But anyways. The little baby ducks are so cute, but it's, it's awful. The reason why I have the hose over there is because I have to take the higher pressure setting and I have to actually spray it behind the animals to get them out of the pond at night. It's, it's pretty absurd. They just love it here so much and they love to just camp out either in the water or right along here. Hi, good morning. Yeah, is that so? You gonna let me touch you? Good morning. Hello, good morning. What's been shaking up y'all? Uh-oh. They're, they can be a bit territorial over their pond, so... Now, the tractor supply did have little baby um, pool things for sale for $4.99 a piece. So, I did just pick up three of these um, as kind of like big watering things for my animals that I'll be able to set up down the hill later. 
I have got to build little dirt ramps up and down them, and those aren't going to last very long. But I was like, well, you know, that's just probably going to help me out some for if I actually want them foraging um, down in those areas. They, they've got to have water. Um, it's really the waterfowl like to have water wherever they go. But anyways, see, maybe this will work out. Maybe they'll be allowed to just like hang out over there. I don't know, but it's pretty exciting. And we had so much rain that, um, you know, I probably, if I would have had my little connecting creek all set up, I would have actually probably been able to see how the overflow works if I had everything all set up because we had so much rain the other day, but I'm just not there yet. So we'll see. I may actually empty this pond out when the water starts flowing down the hill again and once I um, once I actually get another pond set up down there we'll see we'll see oh Peyton what you been doing now? yeah I have to actually lock this little rambunculus into the house when it's raining otherwise he'll chase the birds out of their coop and I just don't have the outdoor structures set up for them yet um, so they were just huddling and they got quite a bit of rain on them, but, uh, we'll see. They're actually, these, uh, some of these birds are going to end up being at least as big as he is, if not bigger, um, like my Brahma roosters. So hopefully they'll be okay and learn how to not be harassed too much. I got to drag those out. Anyways, I've got a lot of work to do. Oh, these little ones are being brave right now. <laughs> but the geese are obsessed with watching the baby ducks at night through the little metal grate. Okay, I have to keep that grate up, and then I'm going to actually set up some fencing inside there um, soon. Maybe i got to expand the whole coop, but we'll see how it goes. And then once I get the outdoor run, the waterfowl are going to get some of their own housing structures outside in the secured covered outdoor run so they won't really be in the coop so much but we'll see anyways it gets to be quite a party down here i've learned that if i don't want them just feed hogging all day and just parking down here that i can't really keep crumble down here for them um, otherwise they just won't leave the vicinity and then they end up pooping too much over here and stuff like that. So when I don't keep the crumble down here, they're much more likely to go up into different areas. Oh, what's going on over here? But they're much more likely to go up into different areas and actually forage. And then probably what I'm going to do is actually set up their crumble and a water feeder like back over in here or somewhere. So it's like, and show them where it is so that they have to uh, go quite a ways for if they want their crumble. And they have to go past a lot of delectable greens. So anyways, this is, this is like party central. I'm not sure if I'm going to use a large chamois or not for my fencing. I'll show you guys. This video is, I was just going to do a super short video of letting them out of the coop. But you know how I am. I just um, anyways I used to fence this area like this um, actually just along the edge and then fence it like this and then fence it along the edge here okay and then you just have to step over the fence right here but I've been reusing some of these posts and I want to keep this as a mushroom zone a mushroom growing zone this whole area okay and um, try to keep it chicken poop free so I may even have to add fencing obviously like my house needs a lot of work but that's part of the adventure guys okay so I set this up here and it goes back along connects to the house and then it goes down and through here now I had one roll of fencing it was kind of like a bonus roll that I hadn't taken down before that was run all the way through these autumn olives so I had to take that out and I had another roll of fencing so that was nice, but this runs down through there. 
And this way they do, my birds will have a little bit of an autumn olive zone down here because it can be a very popular area with the chickens once they get bigger. Okay, and then it just goes like this. Now you might notice some of these posts are like, it's not just that it's on the hill, it's that it's actually up higher because um, I ran into an issue and that there's, you know, some fill down in through here and then over there, I had the issue where I had a lot of gravel wash out during the flood. Um, so I, like the post just will not go in because I'm hitting so many rocks and if I try to move it, I'll just hit a different rock in some of these areas, so. Some of them, the posts are not in super high. Um, I do, even though these posts are not like the best value compared to how heavy those posts are, these are not that much cheaper, but they have these little thingamabobs on them. And so it's just really, really, really easy to set up the fencing without having to like tie anything. Whereas like, I'm actually gonna have to tie these to those posts, but I mean, it doesn't even really need it. Um, this is partially just to hang off my ShamWow, and it's also kind of more um, in the field of vision of the deer and stuff like that. So during part of the year, like winter or something, I might even put little like red solo cups on all of these posts to just um, help keep the deer from crashing into my fence. Because when they do that, it'll like my posts will get all bent up and everything. And then if I don't catch it and I let my geese out here, they'll be out in the road. So this is part of what I was just working on for a little while yesterday. And then I got to the point where I needed to, I, I would have preferred to get the string trimmer back out. Um, but it was time to go make myself another cheeseburger for dinner. And then it got dark. So this is where I left off yesterday. These... Um, the rolls that I got from the tractor supply the other day were actually out in their outdoor fencing yard area. And um, so that's why it looks all crummy. <clears throat> because the paper got rained on and they weren't in their plastic bags. So I don't know if somebody returned those at some point or what, but uh, I was always happy to be able to find them locally. I will probably have to order some, we'll see. But yeah, I only had bought one five pack of posts. They're six and a half foot posts. Um, but I need another five pack and I was just out here debating last night if I'm gonna do the ShamWow because the, the, my ShamWow lights actually plug into my electricity <clears throat> but my hope is that those lights will actually have like a much longer lifespan than some of this other stuff so I had to just take some of my um, solar lights and put them along the fence because again I just don't want deer crashing into my fence and they get into certain routines. So when you put an obstruction that is not super visible to them in the dead of night while they're running, okay, in an area that they're used to just being able to run through, um, it, it'll, it'll mess up your fence if you got a little fence like this. So I gotta go get some more posts. I'm thinking about um, just to troll the jackass next door that tried to steal an acre who never introduced himself or apologized and was rubbing his chainsaw and aggroing me really bad. He used to he used to stand right here every once in a while just with his arms crossed. I mean, in his house is quite a ways with his arms crossed um, when there'd be no leaves in the willows just staring at me while I'd be working in my orchard. He did that a couple times in his little cowboy hat, like, uh, you know, towards the end of winter type. I mean, just a real jackass. Okay, so because he was trying to steal like all of this of my property. He was even trying to claim that dumb can't understand normal thinker that he's married to was actually trying to say that this area belonged to them as well. Okay. And these people, they build on everybody's land around them and it's just absurd. But what I'm thinking about doing is going ahead and extending the, some of the bigger posts and doing ShamWow all the way down to the survey stake. Okay. But, yeah, lots of work still to do. I guess this video is getting kind of long. I should cut it off, but I, I do got to get in through here. This stuff is pretty deep, and we'll see. I'm going to get it all nice and cleaned up. This, this area that is just right here, okay, uh, along the road. I have to set up the nose spray, but this is where I'm thinking about putting up a little mini dwarf like orchard. Okay, because they don't like the trees to be getting in covering the road too much. So if I just had some like 
little peach trees or something, I think that would be fun. Because, you know, a lot of people actually will park right here to check on the creek level every once in a while. So yeah, that's just how it's going. Goodbye.